I'm just doing a video on what you'll need for a basic stimson and python hatchling or any sort of any snake hatchling for that. You just need a basic little small tub that um it'll be able to move around in, have its hide and whatnot. You just need a lid with holes in it, uh, fit enough for it to be able to breathe through, not big enough for it to be able to escape. You need a small water dish with water in, a small hide preferably big enough for it to stretch out in. Um, you need some form of substrate on the bottom as in this sub in this case we're using paper towel. Um, well, you need your hatchling of course as you can see. Um, the other thing we have is a sustainable heat mat at the moment. Um, it was originally used for bearded dragons when we first got them but um, now we're using it for this. We've got a thermometer just there ready to go, all been plugged in, we've got one for the hot side, one for the cold side. Um, in this video we're just going to show you pretty much how to put together a little home for your little hatchling. Um, first pretty much just put in your substrate, in this case paper towel, but you can use anything from bark, sand, you got to be careful on what sand you use though because if you feed your snake in there and it eats the sand as well as whatever it's eating, it can cause fatal harm to your snake. Um, just pretty much place things in there as you will. We'll put in the hide next. Um, we preferably have this on our hot side so it can curl up under there. On the cold side of the tank you'll have a little water dish. Um, that's when you'll be placing it, or should place it onto your heat mat, as then it can start to warm up before you introduce your hatchling. Um, you, you set up your thermometer. In this case, we just slip it under that you know, under his little hide there. Um, it's reading the temps 21.7 at the moment, which is fairly basic. Um, next thing you do, you gradually place your hatchling in there. You don't want to spook him too far spook him out by putting him in there straight away so just want to kind of get him used to get let him go in there at his own speed really there he is off he goes um, then just place the lid firmly on the top so your hatchling doesn't escape he'll roughly stay in there for about maybe a couple of months maybe to his baby be about 10 11 months old until he's big enough to go into the other vivarium I've only just realised that I should have him in the big vivarium because my snake hasn't eaten in the three months. Oh, he's only eaten a couple of times in the three months I've had him. So now he's just back to the basic with um this and that equals a happy snake. 